Hello everyone. How are you, precious standards? It is Lakidra and I am excited again about joining with everyone, bringing to you another powerful word to keep you standing strong. Never forget his promises, people of God. Those of you that are in this fight for your family and your marriage and you may be facing all types of things and many situations. But just know this, people of God, you that are in Christ Jesus. Just know this. The word of God tells us in Colossians chapter 1. Remember in verse 27. Christ lives in you, it tells us. And this gives you assurance of sharing in his glory. This gives you the assurance by Christ living in you, his spirit in you. You will share in all that he promised. You will share in all that he is. This gives you the assurance. So the promises are fulfilled in Christ. As the word of God tells us in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power at work within us. Remember Christ is in us. So there is a mighty power at work in us. And the Bible says to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. And so Christ is in us. Just by Christ being in you alone, you have God's mighty power in you. So that God can now do more than you can ever ask or think or even hope for. And many of you all I know. Precious standards are hoping. For the promises of God to be fulfilled in your life. And the Bible tells us. That they are already fulfilled. In Christ. And he's in us. So because Christ is in you. The promises are already yours. As the word of God tells us in 2 Corinthians chapter. The one verse 20 says for all of God's promises have been fulfilled. They have already been fulfilled in Christ with a resounding yes. Romans chapter 4 tells us this in verse 16. The promises is received by faith. And so you have overcame the devil people of God just by having your faith. In what he has already done for you. Christ is in you. The hope of glory. And we share in his riches and glory now. We share in his promises. We share in his life. Because of his righteousness. Because. Of his sacrifice. And there is a promise. The word of God tells us. Concerning our marriage. And everything pertaining to us, our families, our household. We have been given these special undeserved privileges. The word of God tells us. Here is the promise as the scriptures say concerning our marriage. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 31. Hold on to it precious standards. God said these things. A man leaves. His father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one. God did not lie. He tells us why all this happened. He says it is a great mystery. It is it's, it's his plan that he had for us from the beginning. But it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. See we share in his glory. We share in his life. We were made in his image and likeness. All that we do, we do to illustrate Christ. So this is where marriage came from. This was God's idea to show Christ the hope of glory. God is not dependent upon us to make these things happen. They happen through the power of the Holy Ghost. It is this power that's at work in us 
the Bible says, and now God is able to do more than we can ever ask or think according to that power. The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 2 verse 13, for God is working in you, it says, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. And we know his word tells us in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 that marriage must be honored in everything for God will judge all adulterers and whoremongers. The Lord God says I will put my spirit in you and cause you to walk in my ways. It is his power. Christ who is in us is causing us to do all these things. To illustrate him. To imitate him. And so you're going to see that promise come to pass. Concerning your marriage people of God. But we receive the promises by our faith. You have been given these privileges. The Bible tells us. In Romans chapter 5. Therefore since we have been made right in God's sight. By faith. We have peace with God. Why? It says, because of what Jesus Christ, our Lord, has done for us. And because of our faith, Christ has brought us into this place of undeserved privilege. Where we now stand, and that is to be in him, to be as him and he in us. And we share in his glory, we share in his life. We are seen blameless before the Father. We stand in this place of an undeserved privilege. We have privileges, people of God. And the Bible says, and we confidently and joyfully look forward to sharing God's glory. Meaning you can expect your life to be as he is. You can expect the promises to overtake you. And overshadow you. You people of God have this special privilege. Where you can come boldly. The Bible tells us. Even in time of need. In verse 16 of Hebrews chapter 4. Let us therefore come boldly. Unto the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace. To help in time of need. God already sees people of God. That situation you are in. Prayer is what's going to cause that spouse of yours to come to the knowledge of truth. And it's what's going to bring forth the plans and the purpose of God in your life. In that marriage. Godliness and peace between you and your spouse. And that promise of what God spoke in his word. Well, man shall be joined unto his wife. God says shall be, meaning it is a promise. And the two shall be one flesh. It was God's plan. God's mysterious plan. That a man and his wife would come together. And show forth the glory of Christ Jesus in their marriage. Imitating his. Imitating him and the church united into one flesh. But it comes through prayer and believing you've received it. Taking it. Declaring over your life. Praising and thanking God for it. Hallelujah. For it is his will. And the Bible tells us in 2 Timothy. Chapter 2. Verse 26. It tells us how God is able. To bring that one that is lost to their senses. Bring them to repentance and to the knowledge of truth. It doesn't matter precious standards. What situation or what has happened. Or what your spouse has gotten caught up in. God is able to deliver them and bring them out. The word of God tells us this. God is able to cause them to come to their senses and escape from the devil's trap who have held them captive by him 
to do whatever he wants. And so we come against the devil, people of God, as the Lord says, say to that situation, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Speak to that situation, tell it where to go. Speak to divorce and tell it where to go. Separation and division, tell it where to go. Declare that separation and hostility and enmity was put to death. It was put to death, the Bible tells us in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14. It was put to death in the body of our Lord Jesus Christ when he was nailed to the cross. And so he removed hostility and enmity and division. And he is the one that has brought forth reconciliation. Believe the promises of God. Stand on them people of God for they are yours. They have already been fulfilled because of Christ. Who lives in you. Now God is able to do exceeding and abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think. God's will is going to be done in your life. By that mighty power at work in you. By speaking it out. Declaring your marriage is healed. Command that marriage to line up. And be an illustration of Christ. For life and death is in the power of your tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof call it to you the promises has already been fulfilled as the scriptures say a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined unto his wife and the two are united into one flesh hallelujah that's what god says it is that is what settles it hallelujah your marriage is free and blessed precious standards it doesn't matter what it looks like we walk by faith and not by sight that power is on the inside of you. Thank God for what he has already given you. And now I am going to pray. Lord, we thank you that our marriages are healed. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that these marriages are healed. We thank you for blessing our lives. Thank you for the salvation of our household. Thank you, Father God, that our spouse who was away, you have blessed us, oh God. To reconcile back with one another and be one flesh. Thank you for deliverance. We bind and rebuke divorce and separation and division. We cast it out in Jesus name and command it to go. Thank you Lord God. Hallelujah. For the healing and the glory of God that we share in. Thank you for his riches and glory. Lord we praise you. And thank you for turning around every situation. Thank you, Lord God, you have turned it around. What the enemy meant for evil, you have turned it around for the good. Thank you, Jesus, we shall see the manifestation. We shall see the promises, oh God, in our lives quickly. In Jesus' name, for your glory and your honor. We praise you, Lord, and we worship you and adore you. And all the people of God says, Amen. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. We believe, oh God, it is already ours. Thank you, Lord God. Remember, people of God, it is already yours. Thank Him for what He has done. Remember, God loves you. And I love you too. And until next time, bye-bye.